Hi guys, in this video I'll explain the Java custom code components in Talent. I'll go through the function, the need, the usage and the use case of each of these components with a practical demonstration of these components in Talent. So the agenda for this video includes the explanation of the function of each of these components and then I'll go through the use case, I'll switch to Talent and I'll demonstrate how we can get benefit out of these components. So the first component is tjava component. This is used to enter personalized code and this is basically a standalone component. It can either be in the start, in the center or at the end of the process flow of the integration job. Usually or I would say we do not pass any data to this component it does not accept any data from the preceding or proceeding component it's it's simply a standalone component and I'll explain what sort of Java code we would write with the help of this component now we can take benefit out of this component the second and interesting component is tjava row component and as the name indicates tjava row so it means this component accepts all rows of the preceding component and then it performs some sort of transformations on those on the attributes of the incoming rows and then it passes on to the next component and this is used for provide for performing enhanced transformation capabilities so the next component is tjava flex component it is an enhanced form of tjava row component and the only difference is that there we have one part for writing the code and here we have three different parts for writing the custom Java code and we somehow divide the parts for example we have start part which is executed only once the main part is executed a uh, number of times we have the rows and end part is also executed only once so for example if we have 100 rows coming from the preceding component to tjava flex component in that case start part is going to be executed only once and we can initialize some variables in this part and then we have main part it will be executed 100 times it means equal to the number of rows that are coming from the preceding component and then we have end part which will also be executed only once. Now let's switch to talent and see the practical demonstration of these components. So this is a very simple integration job for the Java component and what we are doing in this component we are reading a data from some file and this is basically the schema of the data that we are reading from the file and what we would like to do is that we would like to store the result of the global variable which is number of lines for this file and we would like to store the result of this global variable in a context variable through tjava component so and we can see there is no data that's been passed on from this component to the next component it's only a trigger which says on component okay so go to this component if I open it so I can see I take the results of the global variable which is nb line and I store the result in the context variable I have the context variable defined here by doing so I can later on use the context variable anywhere in the integration job so we have seen it does not accept any input doesn't provide any output but used to use to perform uh, such sort of functions which are independent of other functions or maybe initializing uh, variables for timers starting the timer or maybe stopping the timer for instance then interesting component a more interesting component is tjava row component so in this integration job we read some data from a file 
and the schema of the file includes ID, name, and country. That's from the customer CSV file. And what I would like to do is I would like to transform the name of the customers to uppercase. So in T Java row, let's open it up and see. So I take ID and country and pass it on the same way as I receive. And for name, I'm using this function string handling dot upcase and then I provide the name. So it's an example of a very simple transformation that I apply on the name, and then the name is passed on to the next component. By the way, you can also go for writing if else conditions or maybe for loops, while loops, or you can write Java code of any complexity to get the required things done. Now let's run this job and see the result. So there you go. We can see name has been transformed to uppercase. Let's move on to the next component which is T Java Flex component. So it works exactly the same way as T Java row works. Only difference is we have three different parts for writing the code, as I explained previously. So start code. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this integration job, I have data of students in which I have the name and the class of students, but I do not have the roll number of these students. And I would like to assign the roll numbers in a sequential order starting from 100. So the first student will get the roll number 100, the next one will get 101, and so on and so forth. So in the initializing window, we can provide the initial roll number as 100. It will be executed only once. And then we have the main window. This is going to be executed for all of the rows that we are going to receive from the preceding component. So I can assign the roll number by creating a new attribute here. So if I see the schema, I have only two attributes coming in and three attributes going out, and we are including the roll number here. And then we'll make a simple increment to this roll number. So let's run this job and see the result. And there you go we have assigned successfully the roll numbers to each of these students and as I said in the Java row component we can write transformations of any complexity so this is main code you can write if else conditions for loops while loops or maybe cases it depends on the problem depends on the situation what are the requirements I hope you've got a good understanding of the basics of each of these components. That's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching the video and if you have liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all in the next video.